Hello there, today let's talk about Floki's new game called Valhalla, which will be live on the 28th of November 2024, which is in about 3 weeks from now. Floki's mission in general is to become the world's most known and used cryptocurrency with their Floki token, which in my opinion is a pretty bold claim, but for now we don't have this kind of token yet, we don't know it might be Floki in the future. But as I said before, we are not going to take a look at Floki in general, we are going to take a look at Valhalla and to be specific on what the team has been working on and what it's like with the ultimate play to earn experience where you can earn from their 50 million treasury by exploring a vast open world and collecting new varus join the adventure now. And now let me show you the trailer of Valhalla while I give you a quick little rundown. Valhalla is a blockchain based MMORPG which is inspired by the North mythology so similar as Floki with the name Valhalla has the same mythology behind it which then offers players a chance to discover, tame and battle with creatures called Varus. Those Varus are then fighting on the battlefield so on this hexagonal pieces right here and those Varus are then fighting on their battlefields and probably each and every Varus can then make different moves, have different effects. For example, we see some fire action and this looks kinda like ice. And if you have played similar strategy battle games like this, for example, one of which would be TFT, which is Teamfight Tactics from League of Legends, you probably know it. Uh, you probably will have an easy time understanding and getting along with this game. Right now, as you can see right here, it is available on the testnet and in about 3 weeks from now, this is going to go fully live and when it just comes to Flaky and TokenFi and their long term vision, you can see that they have positioned an order to make sure of the upcoming ROWA hype over the next 5-10 to 10 years, which means that they have positioned for long term goals. Not the typical short term meme which skyrockets and then as fast as it went up, it comes back down and everybody forgets about it. But as I said before, they are here to stay long term in this game and have staked on this website alone about $320 million worth of the token. Which right now is about 25% of the entire supply which is insane compared to pretty much any other project I have found. And just to clarify what this means, this means that people believe in this project long term which is very important. When you go to the main page and they talk about that you can earn from the 50 million dollar treasury, it's not something that is going to launch soon, couple people join, make some money and then leave. This is something that you would get into now, which can then play for the next years if not longer in crypto and because it's open world based, you have different towns to explore different varus to catch and have the play to earn aspect. And remember, we are looking at something that is here for free where the world evolves with you. They also say holding a Genesis NFT gives you access to presets, discounts, early game access and much more. And then there's a lot to it. You can customize your character, you can tame, train and also grow your Varus and then climb rank and get your ELO ranking. As you can see right here, this weird looking carrot has a rank of 69 and an ELO of 1337. And with ranking comes a leaderboard, which is divided in 1 vs 1, 2v2 and 3v3. And as you have seen recently in a couple other games, just being in the top 10 or maybe 100 can be pretty valuable for you. And now let's take a look at their social media, on which you can see for example this post. Welcome the world's strongest man, Hathor Björnsson, which I'm pretty much sure I have slaughtered his name. He is an official ambassador of Valhalla and considering his appearance and his name and I'm pretty sure he comes from Iceland, this partnership makes a lot of sense for me because the world's strongest man looks exactly like a viking for me. They also partnered with Alliance which means if you watch Apex Legends or for example Counter Strike their logo on there. And regarding the highlights Valhalla will be featured across Alliance digital platforms and live streams. Valhalla logo on Alliance's official jerseys for all Apex Legends and Counter-Strike 2 teams, exclusive events and content, bridging esports and Web3 gaming 
and a multi-year agreement starting on September 2024, which as we know is about two months ago, meaning that we are right in this. And besides eSports, we also have regular sports. The Valhalla game is an official sponsor of the University of Miami Athletics for the 2024 and 2025 season, which means, again, instead of just advertising or being shown to people that are already in the web free space, they also show it to web two people in order to onboard more people which can invest in this project. Which also comes with the benefit that people that are new to something tend to remember their first experience the best. For example, I remember vividly and for example, I can clearly remember my first experience in the crypto space. To be specific, how a good friend of mine introduced me in shitcoins, NFTs and crypto in general. And by the way, you might have seen this friend on YouTube as well. But enough with that, let's jump back to Floki and Valhalla. And since football is just an American or Western sport, Valhalla also invested in cricket. Which when you come from a Western country, you might not know, but cricket is the most popular sports game in the entire world, even more popular than football or soccer. Which means that regardless of the sports you are watching, you will probably be able to find a Valhalla badge in the next or upcoming seasons of the sports you are watching. And now lastly, before we wrap this up, let me tell you two important things. First of all, this is no financial advice and you should, as always, do your own research. All the links will be provided in the description down below, so go ahead and do it by yourself. You shouldn't just listen to someone on the internet having a Squidward picture behind him. And the second and last thing I want to tell you is Bye-bye.